Hello everyone and welcome to the ATEG channel. Today we're going to take a look at the new sand-based batteries. Batteries are essential to take full advantage of renewable energy production, which, as we know, is intermittent. However, the pollution and their efficiency push this sector to consistently reinvent themselves. Among these researchers, the first sand battery in the world was put into service last July in Finland. But how does it work, and is it a viable path to energy storage? Before we look at the sand battery, we must look at the thermal energy storage, which is the technology behind this new invention. We can cite work in lithium sulfur batteries and solar thermal power plants. Chemical batteries are not the only options. For example, it is possible to convert renewable energy into heat and store it instead. In other words, you can have thermal battery, but why should you care about carbon-free heat storage? Developing more thermal storage units would reduce dependence on fossil fuels, which can also help reduce climate impact and heat consumption. How does this technology work? Sensible heat storage is currently one of the most widely used storage solutions. Basically, it involves heating a liquid or solid material by harvesting wind or solar energy when it is abundant. And the typical way to do this is to pass electricity through a heating element to collect with their storage material. To remove the heat, simply lower the temperature of the battery by bringing in cool air. The heat transfer medium can be something simple as water or a complex compound such as molten salts used to concentrate solar power plants. The Australian Energy Market Operator, AEMO, estimates that we will generate 20% of our energy use from renewable energies by 2050. With this in mind, the Swedish electricity company Venfall will soon fill a 45 meter high tower in Berlin with water. The volume of the water in the tank is equivalent to 350,000 bathtubs. Their batteries are next to a thermal power plant that is a reserve for wind energy to heat the water to just under 100 degrees Celsius. It should be operational by 2023. This giant thermos will keep the water hot and be able to give it back for 13 hours. It seems promising. Recently, the Finnish startup Polar Night Energy developed a new type of battery. It is a 7 meter high steel silo containing 100 tons of low grade sand and a bunch of pipes. They refined the design and scaled it up, teaming up with Vetejan Hoski, a district heating network operator. A large battery is already heating homes, offices, and even multiple swimming pools, heating 10,000 people in all. They could replicate the system anywhere in the world where there is a district heating infrastructure, such as New York, Boston, Philadelphia, San Francisco, and most major US cities have one as Polar Night Energy claims. Their latest battery model can store up to 8 megawatt hours of energy in the form of heat. In addition to the environmental benefits, this storage solution saves the city money. On closer inspection, Finnish temperatures can almost go as low as Alaska's, so during the longest cold season, high demand translates into high costs. On the other hand, the sand battery will store clean energy during the summer when it is really available. Then it will redistribute it throughout the winter when there is little sunlight. This is why using sand is financially practical. These days, it would have a significant impact on the energy budget. In fact, after having a recent payment dispute last May, Russia froze its gas supply to Finland. You can understand their enthusiasm for this technology. Local governments are very excited about it and want to develop sand batteries on a larger scale. But how does Polar Night Energy turn a tank full of sand into a heat battery? While connected to the grid, the battery receives excess solar and wind power generation to charge it. This is then converted into heat and transferred into sand to be more precise. The renewable energy feeds a heating resistor. Thanks to the air circulating around the sand, the resistor heats up through a series of pipes. And while it may sound complicated, the heat production is based on resisting heat. This is actually how common appliances like toasters work. Their tank is well insulated with the outside environment. This minimizes heat loss over time, reaching temperatures of up to 600 degrees Celsius. So their base unit can retain heat for months. When you need to recover this energy, simply circulate fresh air through the hot sand pipes. The end result that comes out of the system is hot air that can produce cleaner steam for industrial processing, heating, public water, or homes. Clearly, something as simple and safe as sand to store green energy is a very interesting topic, but how does it compare to other storage technologies? Simplicity is one of the main advantages of sand-based thermal batteries. As the startup director stated, it is actually a typical silo that can be built in any steel shop. So, you won't need to build any factories when they develop their commercialization. Of course, they need other components like pipes, pumps, fans, heating elements. The equipment is readily available anywhere. The same goes for their key ingredient, which is sand. This is a key advantage over conventional battery chemistries that rely on hard-to-find materials like lithium, nickel, and cobalt. While Polar Night Energy can use any type of sand, the startup prioritizes recycled sand from the construction industry. This helps minimize waste, and that's not the only environmental benefit. 
On the other hand, research shows that polar night energy sand batteries could prevent the release of about 100 megatons of CO2 into the environment by 2030. It's twice the annual CO2 output of New York City. Unlike chemical batteries, there's no need for an electrolyte solution, especially since the electrolyte degrades over time and lithium batteries have a lifespan of about 15 years at best. In contrast, the sand designed by Polar Night Energy can withstand temperatures without losing its ability to retain heat. According to the company, its lifespan is estimated to be around 50 years. This is particularly reasonable considering the materials used. It is also possible to use stored heat to power a steam turbine, but this would be an extra step to the efficiency of the round trip, reducing it drastically from 99 to 25%. That's a far cry from lithium-ion batteries, which only lose 5% of their energy during operation. Thus, rather than transforming into electricity, it'd be more justice to use the heat as is. For example, to replace boilers that use natural gas to heat our buildings. But this would only make sense in cities where district heating infrastructures is available. In addition, this green solution could decarbonize heat-intensive industrial processes, for example, steel and cement manufacturing. But what about the cost? While sand is very cheap, they still need a lot of steel pipes buried inside. That can inflate the expense. Polonite Energy predicts the cost at about 10 euro per kilowatt hour once the system reaches a store capacity of 20 gigawatt hours nevertheless. However, there is a catch. The current storage capacity is only 8 megawatt hours, so it'll take time for this technology to be competitive. While sand batteries are not a panacea for carbon-free world, they will play a key role in decarbonizing our electric infrastructure. If you enjoyed our topic today, please feel free to like this video. To enjoy more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, leave us our suggestions for future topics. Activate the notification bell to be among the first to see our next videos, and we hope to see you soon on ATEC.